I think I speak for us all when I thank you for your patience. Myself, I have one final question, Dr. Haraway. If you should meet these vegans and were permitted only one question to ask of them, what would it be? Well, I suppose it would be, um, how did you do it? <clears throat> how did you evolve? How did you survive this technological adolescence without uh, destroying yourself? That, more than <clears throat> any other question, is the one that I personally would like to have answered. Not too bad, Mike. Mm. I joined Dr. Bejaron in expressing thanks for your patience, Dr. Arove. We've all been most impressed with your candor and your stamina. I believe we are ready to move on to your final statement. Uh, Madam Chairman, I have one more question. Yes, Mr. Joss. Dr. Arroway, would you consider yourself a, uh, a spiritual person? Uh, I, I don't really understand the point of the question. Uh, I, I consider myself a moral person. I'm sure we all agree that is the case, but I think what Mr. Joss is in fact asking... Do you believe in God? Dr. Arroway. As a scientist, I uh, rely on empirical evidence, and uh, in this matter, I, I don't believe that there is data either way. So your answer would in fact be that you don't believe in God? I just, I don't understand the relevance of the question. Uh... Dr. Arroway, 95% of the world's population believes in a supreme being in one form or another. I believe that makes the question more than relevant. Dr. Arroway? I believe, um... I believe I've already answered that question. I'm proud...